We're back with another of my older videos with Hydreigon Darkrai, but another really close game. So this is against, I believe, an electric deck. Yep. Uh, so we see that from the starting Tynamo. I get to go first and uh, really am nothing, not even energy card, and still don't after that N. But I'll be able to get a double Dynamo out. And uh, let's go ahead and receiver to uh, see if I can pull anything um, other than Juniper, pull a Skyla. And that gets a random receiver into the uh, the discard pile in case he ends me, and I need to junk hunt to get it back in order to get to get a supporter in my hand. So, uh, or uh, that random receiver could have gotten me a Skyla, which could have got me the rare candy for the Hydreigon. However, I still would have been energyless, so I probably still would have gone for the end. Uh, typically, I'm pretty confident in Hydreigon as far as being able to end early game just to refresh my hand and give them a little disruption rather than late in the game, so I'm really not worried about burning a couple early on. So, looks like he's, uh, wow, um, he's gonna try and take out a di uh, uh, Deano with the DCE on Mewtwo, one plus power, see if he gets one more plus power and the switch, and nope, uh, so he's stuck with just the single plus power. Uh, now he does have the Flip Teeny, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Max Potion, heal off that Deano. I'm tempted to play a third Deano just in case. Uh, we're going to pull up the other Mewtwo with no energy and then play N. Um, I pull into an energy, but just one. Unfortunately, don't have the Dark Eye, but I am going to be able to evolve, evolve into Zwellis. Um, and I actually attach to the Deano and try and paralyze that Mewtwo. Um, doesn't end up working though, and uh, that's actually going to lose me that Deano when he attaches a second DCE for X Ball. Um, but I still have a pretty good. Um, yeah, things don't look so bad. I'm gonna attach the Eviolite to. Yeah, just the Sableye and Juniper. Um, uh, awesome, so this is perfect. I get the, the Dark Eye out for my free retreat. I'm gonna get the Hydreigon out. Uh, Dark Patch onto the Hydra. Well, I'm sorry, not the Hydreigon, the Dark Eye. Uh, bench another Sableye, and I'll have a supporter left over for next turn. So I can use my Sableye's Junk Hunt to get back probably a Max Potion, and, um, hmm, I don't know what else I'd want to get back. Uh, Catcher probably, just so I can start pinpointing something. Um, I'll yeah, also be able to Ultra Ball for uh, a Mewtwo, so uh, being able to do the Retaliation, well, he's got two Mewtwo, so I'm probably going to avoid that for now. Um, I went ahead and Junk Hunted for a Mewtwo, though, uh, just to put a little pressure on him, and uh, there's pretty much nothing else I can do, so we'll go ahead and Junk Hunt for a... So thinking Max Potion and maybe a Dark Patch in case he knocks me out. Um, catcher, yeah, Catcher is still really good. So it went for the Dark Patch and the Catcher so that if he knocks out my uh, Sableye, I'll be able to immediately get that energy back into play. And hopefully with the end, I'll pull into a third energy to be able to do it. But he ends up ending me, which, uh, not bad. Gets me a little bit better hand, actually. Uh, he gets another Tynamo on the field, he's already got an Eel, um, but only, so this is not really an electric deck where, as far as, a, like, type electric, this is uh, Mewtwo Eels, so very interesting, and now he's uh, trying to instigate the Mewtwo War, so, um, hmm, very, very interesting, do I just Skyla for, it? no, I don't, yeah, I could Skyla for the Dark Patch, and ensure that I get to put some damage on the field, and take out an eel at the same time. So, um, I end up Skyling for the Max Potion, uh, oddly enough. Um, chances are I'm going to be one-shot, um, and I probably should put that Eviolite on the Mewtwo, but, uh, you know, oh well. Uh, considering I know he does run plus power, and so yeah, I definitely should have put the Eviolite on the Mewtwo. Um, so that's going to be enough to knock me out. Uh... Hmm, which uh, is problematic because I really don't have much energy in play, so probably not a good idea to get into a um, Mewtwo War with this deck. Um, I don't have a Super Rod in hand to be able to get my Mewtwo back out. Um, so what I probably need to do is focus on getting those eels out of the out of the way, so that um, 
yeah, I just pretty much need to get the eels out of the way. So I attach a prism. Uh, we're going to dart patch onto the Deano. I uh, really don't need Keldeo in the matchup, but before I end, I just want to empty out my bench as much as possible, or empty out my hand as much as possible. And, and, uh, well, that sucks, so I'm going to have to pass. But I did end up capturing up the eel just to stall for a little bit. I was hoping I would pull into another dart patch, but that didn't end up happening. He gets a third Tynamo on the field. He's already got an, uh, a double eel up. Um... It doesn't look like he has a switch though, so he has to attach manually. I get another dark around the field. We'll attach for the turn. And Juniper away, two rare candies um, to uh, get a fresh hand. We'll use the dark patch. Yeah, I've, oh, double dark patch actually, and I can use both of them. So i um, probably just going to go ahead and use both of them right now. Just get those energies onto the field. And... Um, start taking out some some Tynamos, um, or not Tynamos, some Eels. So uh, I should probably go ahead and Super Rod that Mewtwo back in, because that's going to be crucial in getting some other knockouts. So I put the Sableyes back in, put in Mewtwo, and uh, we're going to go ahead and Night Spear uh, to knock out that Eel and put some damage on one of the Mewtwo's so I don't have to have the third energy to knock it out. And that'll make it a little harder for him to just easily retaliate. Um... I'm f I can Skyla next turn for a rare candy and get into another Hydreigon. Um, oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to. I was I think I was pricing. Looked like Ho O E X Full Arts. And uh, he promotes a Victini. He's got the free retreat with uh, Sky Arrow, so he can utilize the the one eel he has on the bench. He did pull a Bianca or had a Bianca, so he's able to get a nice fresh full hand. Uh, Dynamotors onto the Mewtwo. Uh, looks like he's got a loaded Mewtwo, uh, DCE and two electrics, so, and then he super rods in, uh, look like, uh, an electric line, uh, Tynamo, Eel, and maybe another Eel, and is now probably computer searching for maybe another Eel, um, or maybe a, uh, possibly a supporter for next turn, like a Juniper. Um, obviously I can't see what he does though, so... There's a fully loaded Mewtwo, and he's going to take out a uh, Dieno. So uh, I'll just go ahead and promote my um, Darkrai. Um, hmm. So I'm definitely down three prizes to one. I really need to evolve that Dieno now so he can't one-shot it. So I hate to use my Skyla on a rare candy without another supporter in hand, but I think it just has to be done to protect that... Um, that Dieno from being my last prize. So go ahead, rare candy, and uh, I've got a max potion in hand, so I'll be able to use that if he does decide to, to put some damage on something. It looks like the game's lagging just a little bit. Um, and hopefully from my prize, I did, you know, catch up the eels, so I'll be able to take out the eel and put a little damage on something else. So um, I'm in a good position to come back. Uh, yeah, now if he ends me to a hand of two, I am may not be in such a good position, but chances are, uh, I'm, well, that computer search could have been an N. Um, I have a feeling, though, it's probably a Bianca or a Juniper, something to give him more support right now, because he really is, he, he's got a good, well, after he loses this eel, he doesn't really have a really, that, that strong of a board position to be able to uh, come back easily from an end of one to himself. Now, if he had two eels on the field, I'd say, yeah, he could do that, but um, I have a feeling he probably went for some draw support for himself. So, I'm going to go ahead, and uh, I don't know why the game is lagging right now, but Rare Candy, that uh, Dieno into Hydreigon. That way I don't have to worry about another catcher coming up and being that last prize. And, uh, again, I don't know why this is lagging so much. So, any minute now, it's going to evolve. I believe I've already chosen the Rare Candy. Um, not quite sure why it's taking so long. Um... Well, uh, I guess I can just keep on rambling. After I take the eel on this prize, I really only have to take out uh, one of those Mewtwo's. And if I hit, hit any sort of draw support on either my top deck next turn or my prize, uh, I've got that Mewtwo back in my deck, so I, I'll hopefully be able to just get that Mewtwo out, um, capture it up, and that'll be it. So, um, 
moving around my energy a little bit, just... I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter at this point. If he knocks out one more Pokemon, I'm, I'm gone. And I'm going to put 30 onto that other Mewtwo, just so it's going to be an easier knockout. Um, I'm not worrying about the other ones, because if I'm... If I have the catcher to, you know, bring up a Victini or something, then I'm, you know, to try and take a double uh, prize, like, on that Tynamo. Um, chances are I'm going to have the catcher to bring up the Mewtwo and be able to knock that out as well. Um, uh, was it Mewtwo? Does it have 170 HP? Yeah, well, I believe 170. So, uh, my Hydreigons could even knock it out at this point. Uh, I believe it's 170. Well, for some reason I'm having a hard time remembering if it's 170 or 180. But, uh, anyways, so we still have a couple minutes left in the video. Uh, I'm not quite sure what he can do. He needs to just find a way to take one prize. Now, if he can, he's got, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, um, 10, 12, 14. Uh, now, if he attaches another DCE to the Mewtwo on the bench and Tool Scrappers away my Eviolite, he's good. Um, other than that, though, I'm not really quite sure, uh, what he can do. And so he promotes a Tynamo and then just passes. And I top a Juniper, so perfect. He was un- he d decided not to risk the attack until he could take a prize, because I'd spread the damage out on the Mewtwo's. He has to attack with something different, otherwise my Hydreigons are just gonna knock him out. So, uh, Juniper, um, ugh. Oh. There's, I mean, I really don't have to worry about anything. I don't have the catcher, but I can just Night Spear for an easy prize. And um, as long as I don't, I'd, if I had benched the Sableye or Mewtwo, um, and he had had a catcher, that would have been game. But now that I, you know, uh, I don't really know what he can do. He has to take a prize. There is nothing on his bench that can withstand me right now. And so then he promotes the Raikou. Um... Yeah, so right now, Raikou, I will have to two-shot, um, but he just ends up conceding, basically because he realized he didn't have any chances. If I had the catcher in hand, uh, I, I would have had the game. Um, otherwise, he didn't have the energy to attack. He has, he, There was no way he could one-shot me. He had to two-shot me, so that Raikou had to have done something. If he just left it up, it just would have gotten damage on this turn and then been taken out on the next turn. So... Um, Pretty close game. Uh, nice little comeback for me on that one. Again, if it, if we had been playing it out, if he, or if he had let me play it out, um, yeah, I would have been able to take out pretty much anything in play. So uh, that's the good thing about Hydreigon decks is it really it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't mind if you take the first few prizes. So hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more battle videos.